Hello, my eyebrows are very thick today. I recorded a whole video about an hour ago in which I said I was going to upload my Wellington stuff today. Hey guys, I went down to Wellington for New Year's as you probably already know. Uh, this is stuff that I filmed while I was down there. Instead I did some Pilates in which I swore at the video like 20 times. So instead I am going to tell you about my favourite TV shows. One of the people I'm following on Tumblr just did a whole spam of Fringe stuff because they're a Fringe blog. And so I thought I'd tell you guys about Fringe because I love Fringe a lot. As anyone who's known me longer than a year would probably be able to tell you. I first started watching Fringe back in... when it first came out in New Zealand. Uh, because it was on the sci-fi slot, which was a slot that I watched no matter what came on. Despite some of the terrible shows that came onto that slot. But I watched that and one of my other friends started watching it at the same time so I watched it with her which is why I got so into it I guess is because I was watching it with a friend and we were chatting about it and that was pretty cool. Fast forward into university and I had another friend who watched it with me. Um, he'd come over every Sunday I think and we'd watch it together. So as well as me liking the show because you know it had a female character as a lead who was pretty cool. Uh, it had a cow <laughs> um, it had a good cast and it also, which is a plus to anything I ever watch or read or play, had the whole multiverse thing going on with the alternate dimensions and stuff. That is something that will always get me no matter what, like his Dark Materials, Fringe, fucking Marvel even, uh, that other thing, Bioshock Infinite, that's one. Um, that stuff always gets me. Every time. On top of the whole good memories because of Friends. Uh, it also, yeah, had a story I enjoyed. Uh, one thing I will say though is that the last season kind of sucked. Peter went on the whole rampaging angry dad thing. Not something I'm fond of in any TV show, any game, any book, anything. As soon as you get the rampaging angry dad trope, I will kind of just ollie out. And also Olivia kind of didn't do shit all. She kind of became a sad mum, which is also another trope I don't like. The last season kind of sucked, which sucks because it had the whole Observer thing, which is really cool because I've always liked the Observer since the first thing, which if you haven't watched Fringe, none of this will make any sense to you whatsoever. Fringe was good. If you like weird alternative science stuff and you like crazy dialogue, I would advise watching it. It's got this half seal of approval. Also Almost Human, which is a new show that's just kind of started up, is quite similar to Fringe in many ways. I guess because it was written by some of the same people, right? Pretty sure I'm right about that. Dorian is gorgeous. Ridiculously gorgeous. Like, even if I didn't like the show, I would watch it just for him. Which is saying a lot coming from me. So yeah, there you go. You got a bit of a ramble from me. Um, in other news, I didn't do shit all today. Actually, no, I did. I called wins and I got that shit sorted out, which is nice for once. And I went out and saw friends. Which is also good, considering I haven't really gotten out of the house since coming back from Wellington. I don't know what else to say. Hopefully tomorrow, <laughs> I say this every day, hopefully tomorrow I'll finish my Wellington video. So tomorrow, Wellington. Yes, I will do it. Watch me. I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you and may the force be with you. Whoa, lens flare. It's like Star Trek.